Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I have another unbagging. This is from a company uh, that had contacted me a while ago, and I think this is the fourth or fifth time that um, I have shown their products for them. Uh, the name of the company is Colorful DIY, and Grady over there is so uh, kind and so nice, um, and they've sent me a few more products to show you. So let's just get right into it. I hope everyone is doing well today. I am doing fabulous. Uh, Nate's back to school. I have the house to myself. It's wonderful. Love my kid, but get him to school, right? So I'm really enjoying this company, Colorful DIY. I have I never have any problem finding lots and lots of awesome things on their site. Their prices are great. Their shipping is great. Um, their customer service has been great. And yeah, so, uh, and their products have been good. Their products have been great. I should, I should say that they've been less than great because they have been great. So this is the first um, one that I ordered, and this is a special drill partial, but it's one of those special drills where almost everything is drilled. It almost reminds me of a bubble type painting, um, but it has a lot of special shapes, or it appears that it's going to have you know, more than just rhinestones. It's going to have some special shapes. And I just really, it kind of is reminiscent to me of my Sun and Moon collection, um, but it isn't, but it kind of reminds me of that style. It's a nice, flex flexible, pliable canvas. It's a 30 by 30 centimeter, and it has 16 different drill types. So that's quite a bit. The toolkit that comes with it, if you're new to diamond painting and you've never diamond painted before, every diamond painting you ever get is going to come with a toolkit that's going to give you everything that you need to complete that project. So you get a pen, a boat, a plate of wax, and this one also includes tweezers because it is special shapes. Some of those shapes are difficult to pick up with the pen, so they do give you the tweezers as well. So let's look at what our drill types are going to be because I'm a little bit curious to see uh, what we've got. Because I know we're gonna have some specials. So we have two big blags, big blags, big blags, what am I saying? Two big bags of black. Uh, and these are the black with the flashing on them. They're not, you know, just plain resin drills. They're the, they're not, they're not translucent at all. They are black, but they have the flashing on the back. And then we have a nice cranberry color. It's very pretty. Then we have some gold teardrop faceted. Those are very pretty too. Some red crystals some purple teardrop faceted. And these look very, very nice. There's not any dust at all in these drill bags, so I appreciate that. We have some larger yellow rhinestones, some regular yellow rhinestones, some clear iridescent coated faceted marquee, some teardrop shaped round topped purple, then we have some blue, like a like an ice blue uh, crystal or rhinestone, whatever you want to call them. I kind of use those words interchangeably, um, you'll notice. And then we have some purple globes, round top globes, and some purple crystals. And then we have a few bags over here of some other things. So we've got some oval shaped uh, red faceted, some larger oval shaped red faceted, and then we have these beautiful ice blue faceted teardrops and they're that are quite large and purple or lavender faceted teardrops that are also quite large. So I would imagine that those are going to go in these um, in number, 
11 around the edge here and probably number three right here. So that is going to be really, really pretty. I really like the looks of this one. And since August is over, no one can stop me. I can start all the projects I want to start. So this is definitely going to be one that I am going to work up really, really quickly because it's so beautiful. I love, love, love it. So that is the first thing that we've got from Colorful DIY. I'm just going to set it off to the side. Let's see what we've got next. This one feels a little heavier. I bet this is a full drill. It is a full drill. Now this one is one that, it also has a pretty pliable canvas. It's a little bit stiffer than the last canvas, but not by much. It's a pretty pliable canvas. And I like that about canvases when they're more pliable rather than really, really stiff. Um, I find that they flatten a lot easier and you're less likely to have residual ridge marks um, when you do go to work on them, even after you've put them under something heavy. Now I'm gonna have to peel this paper back because it is on there quite tight uh, so that I can get it to relax fully. But this image is one of, you know, I always am on the lookout for more masculine looking images so that uh, Jeff has something to work on. Um, when he feels like diamond painting and this has to be probably one of my favorite images in that genre that I have come across so far um, especially in a, a budget-friendly way and this is a 30 by 40 centimeter round drill canvas it has 20 colors so I think that that and if you look at the drill field the drill field is nice and clear. And you can see, look at all the confetti in that deer. That is going to make for a really, really nice image when it is diamond painted. So one thing I've been forgetting to do lately that Diana was so nice enough, that is a very, very, very sticky canvas. Um, I've been forgetting to test the sticky on my canvases, and I apologize for that. I should have been doing that all along. You would think I would have some kind of routine going on after I've done so many of these, but I've been forgetting about that. So our legend is all color, I'm sorry, all letters and numbers, which I love that about um, a, a canvas when they have all letters and numbers. This is printed in the picture method rather than the pixel method, which also allows for a clearer and crisper image um, when you're done because you're gonna have, you know, the lines that are showing beneath the drills are gonna really kind of accentuate the shape that they're supposed to be. Especially for a smaller size image, it makes it look really nice. Uh, so I really love this. I might do it instead of Jeff because I really, really love the image. It's simple, but it's nice. So this one comes with a standard toolkit. Everything you need to diamond paint is in there. And let's take a look at our drill colors. Even the background is not a solid color. So we're gonna have lots of, lots of um, color variations in here. Ooh, and I see some pretty colors. Oh, wow, I love these colors. So we've got a blue that is like a, um, like a dark country blue, a deep green, a blue green, a dark mauve, very dark brown, sage green, probably 3860 and 3861 right there the mauves, another brown. Look at those two teals. Those are gorgeous. Those are probably going to be our leaves, I think, in the back here. All of the foliage is probably going to be these two greens. 
and they're just gorgeous. Um, this is either black or dark navy. Let me see, number nine. It's 939, so this is going to be the dark navy. Another sage green, more brown, country blue. Number five is 823, so another dark, dark blue. Another blue, a tan, and two grays. So really, not that much brown. Our deer is going to be mostly grays. Um, a mixture of grays, browns, and, and mauves. So that's interesting, but I think it's going to come out really nice. I'm really happy with this one. I'm very happy with this one. Just might not get it. <laughs> this might be one that I decide to do myself. Because I do like it. I love a good deer diamond painting. Don't know what it is, but I love a good deer diamond painting. I wish I could see this kind, the deer with those kind of that kind of rack in my backyard. We don't tend to have deer bucks with with big big racks like that in our backyard. We tend to have more spike horns or does that we see here. But you never know when one might show up. Okay, let's see what we've got now is another special drill. And this is another, uh, this is a 30 by 40 with a standard tool kit. And this is another in my ever growing collection. Now this one is a stiffer canvas. Try to roll it this way and see if I can get those creases out so it'll lie flat enough to show you. So this is another of the series that I've been collecting of the bubble images um, of special shaped diamond paintings. This one is a little bit different because it has special shapes in the tree. All of the tree leaves are made up of marquee. And so I really, really liked the look of that. And it's nice and um, I'll show you the schematic. It's all fall colors. So very cute, very, uh, a little bit different from what we're used to seeing on the bubble images, in the bubble diamond paintings. So let's take a look at what we've got for drills. We have 14 different drill types. And ooh, I'm liking it. I like what I see, you guys. I like what I see. So we have uh, purple, a very, very like deep purple of deep blue. That's a beautiful color blue. Then this is kind of a like a brown, a brown crystal, which is really nice. We've got orange deepy orange brownish yellow a larger color very pale pink a larger color blue an even larger color dark blue then we have those gold foil marquee then we have two bags of iridescent coated greenish marquee those are very pretty and then we have iridescent coated green marquee, iridescent coated purple marquee, iridescent coated orange marquee, and then white pearl buttons. I wonder where those are gonna go. There's quite a few of them. I'm curious, so now we're gonna look. 14, it's that blue circle. So they're gonna go all around here and around here, those white pearls. Well, that'll be pretty. Oh, and in the centers of some of these circles. That'll be very pretty. I'm excited to do this one. Boy, it's something else knowing that I can do any of these whenever I want to. Now, this one is going to take a couple days to sit under something heavy to get the shipping wrinkles out. So, no big deal. I won't be able to start on it right now. But 
I will be able to in a couple of days. So that's fine. I think we all have enough in our stash that we don't need to work on something immediately when it comes in the door. Even though we want to, right? Right. So that is that one, and I love it. I think this might be my favorite bubble painting so far. No, I the Tree of Life one that I that I got is, but this is my second favorite so far, definitely. All right, and it just wants to fold right back up, so we're gonna let it let it do what it wants to do. I'll get it under something heavy as soon as I'm done with this video. All right, this is gonna be another partial. I can tell by um, how light it feels. This one has a little bit less stiff of a canvas and it is a 30 by 30 and there's not much there. But it is a sun and moon and it is a very different looking sun and moon and I just had to give it a try. For all that's there, which is not much drilling, there are 13 different drill types in this. And one thing that's uncommon about this one that usually with special drills, you have all kinds of crazy symbols in your legend. This one actually has all numbers in the legend. So that's interesting. So 13 different drill types. And I love the fact that it looks like it, it's like a dream catcher, you know, with the, with the feathers hanging down. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I do wish it was a little bit bigger on the, you know, on the canvas, but it's still going to be cute. So standard drill kit or tool kit. Set my scissors on there and keep that so you guys can see it. And let's take a look at the drills. I had a comment from someone who said that my volume wasn't very good. So um, I don't know if that's the case for everyone, but I just wanted to let you know, if you do have an issue with my volume, um, I did order a standalone microphone. So that's gonna be here today. So hopefully any problems with volume uh, with my voice is gonna be resolved. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, we have blue crystals brown or actually it's more of a deep yellow and there are an awful lot of drills in these packs for as little as you're probably going to use yellow more purple teal another purple orange pink some green marquee some blue globes some magenta globes some gold buttons and some blue pearlized buttons. And that is what is gonna go into this guy. And I think it's gonna be cute. I think it's gonna be very cute and I think you're gonna have tons of leftover drills. So I know I like to keep uh, leftover special drills. I don't know, somebody gave me a very good idea of what you could do with your leftover crystals and special drills too um and so i'm gonna do that they sell at the dollar store um little ornaments uh and they took and decorated those little ornaments with their leftover special drills and i think that that's an excellent idea so i'm gonna have to try that out and see how it works out for me they said that they lay it out ahead of time and you know so they know what they're gonna do I'm not quite that organized, so <laughs> mine might be a little bit of a mess, but hey, to each their own, right? I'll do what I can. All right, this is our last one from um, Colorful DIY today. This is another full drill diamond painting, and it's another very nice pliable soft canvas, and I've been waiting for this one. I absolutely love this one. This one is going to go up on the wall of my entryway to my house, which means I'm gonna to have to get right on it because Halloween and fall are here already. I can already feel the difference in the, you know, the feeling of the air. It's getting cool at night. So fall for us is right around the corner. 
and this is it. It is a 30 by 40 with 23 colors. And isn't it just adorable? Isn't it just everything? They're snow, pumpkin snowmen holding glasses of wine. Tell me that that is not just the cutest. I love it. There's some leaves scattered on the ground. You're going to have quite a bit of, um, not quite a bit. It's going to be a mix of multi-placing and confetti. Uh, 23 colors. All of the symbols are going to be letters, which is wonderful. We've got DMC codes on there. Test the stickiness of the canvas. Yep, this one is nice and sticky. If my figure doesn't come off and I can lift the whole thing up, it's nice and sticky. Um, I hate a canvas that's not sticky enough. It's like absolutely between, I, I don't know what I hate more, canvases that aren't sticky enough or dirty drills, but I hate both of those things. So we have the standard toolkit that comes with it. And let's check out our drills and see what those are like. I just love this. And this is also picture printed. So, you know, the definition on the um, sides of the cups is going to show uh, the sides of the wine glasses. That's going to show through, you know, um, around the drills. So that's going to really help to uh, identify those and make them a lot more clear when you're finished. All right, let's see what we've got. So we've got white, purple, and blue. I wonder where that purple is gonna go. There's kind of a lot of it. I can't imagine where that purple is gonna go. You guys probably don't care, but I'm interested. It's G. So we've got a few in the bottom of the wine glass here. Oh, in some of the leaves. There's a few G's in some of the leaves. I think they've given us ample, ample, ample drills because I don't see very many G's and there's a lot of them in that bag. So then we've got a burgundy, a sage green, a lavender, a tan, like kind of a greenish tan, a couple colors orange, kind of a dusty orange, brown, then we've got several colors blue. We've got one, two, three, four different colors of blue. These drills look amazing. They don't have any divots or um, concave drills, and they are not dusty at all in their packs. I have not had a bad canvas from Colorful DIY uh, as, of, as of yet. So there's something to be said for that. So then we have some dark orange, some magenta, some brown, some tan, army green, more orange, kind of a Kelly green, and a dusty pink. I wonder where that, probably in the leaves as well. And those are the 23 colors that make up this diamond painting. And this is the last diamond painting of this order. And this is one that I'm going to have to get started on really quickly so I can get it done for this holiday season because I definitely want to get it done for this holiday season. And I expect that I should be able to work this up in about a day. I'll be able to get this done. And when I say a day, I mean like 24 hours, you know. Um, so, yeah. This will be a fun one to do. I really like it. So I'm very happy with everything that I got. I wish that that one partial was a little bit bigger, but it's it's still cute and it's still fine. And I want to thank um, the folks at Colorful DIY for um, allowing me to show these to you. I will link them all in the description in case you're interested. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I want to thank everybody again for watching and subscribing. I sincerely appreciate you all being here. Um, you guys are great. And until my next video, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.